Right here. This intro's sick. This intro's fucking sick. We're playing Azuka! Yay! So, what's, so okay. <sighs> Let's Azuka. talk about our experiences with Guilty Gear in general. How about that? So, like, yeah, if you if you know Guilty Gear, I'm sure you know what Guilty Gear is. It's an awesome fighting game, you know. It has a bunch of metal references, and it's it's fucking cool. Everything's you know based off music, or you know the characters are all interesting. They're not, they're not just fireball martial artists. They're like you know pool ball using fucking flame sword crazy people. Yeah. We've been playing this series for like what almost ten years now. Yeah, we start what we start playing in two thousand. 2004, 2005. Yeah, between 2004, 2005. Because that was when I met Joseph. Joseph, like, well, I met Joseph when pretty much when he was in senior year. Yeah, so he, you know, he's so hanging he... out with my brother, and, and then, like, pretty much me and my brother, and, you know, and Eloy. Tito here next to me, and his brother, Eloy. We all just, like, every Friday night for, like, well, I don't know how long. Every, every Friday night during high school, we would play Guilty Gear X2 Sharp Reload. Yeah, we'd sit there and just play that game all fucking night. And, uh, man, we got, like, pretty salty, you know, we were throwing the controllers around. Yeah, that was, those are some good times. For whatever reason, we all got stuck on that game, and to this day, we haven't put it down, you know, we've still been playing it. And in between then somewhere, I don't know, 2005 or so, 2006, this little gem came out, Zuka. <laughs> this beautiful the game. The promise of something so beautiful, and here it is. We're playing Boost. Uh, yeah. It's like a walk around beat em up version of the game. Yeah, so like Guilty Gear itself, is, it, it looks like this, but it's you know two D. There's no like you know higher or lower levels. It's it's all around a fun fighting game. Nobody looks that generic like those little bad guys. So, speaking of which, these characters are called Zako Dan. You know they're what that means? Uh uh. They're like lackey gang, but um, what was it a? Uh, Raph was telling me that the word Zako means mm. trash, kinda, pretty much. <laughs> they're pretty much just like fucking peons. They're, they're, like, they're, they, they know they're peons. But yeah, they're just straight up called trash. <laughs> like, what are they thinking fighting these, uh... You know, fighting a gear, like two gear people. Just look how, like, how much this doesn't look like the Guilty Gear world, you know? Like, there's a giant poop mound back there. I don't know if you see it, but... Poop mountain? Right Where? there, by my head. Right above my head, there's like a poop mound. Holy shit, that is a pile of shit. It's a pile of shit in the background. <laughs> that one little pixel of, uh, of art back right there perfectly where, describes where, where, this game. Where my foot is? When You're I kicking kick? shit, yeah. I'm kicking shit, dude. Shit kickers. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Uh, oh, shit. oh, shit. This game is just fucking weird. Like, it's it's awesome. I like Boost, though. Boost, I do yeah, like... Boost is a fun it's, mode. It's fun. Yeah, honestly, like, there's a PSP version of you know this game. Or not of... Boost, right? But it had something judgment, similar. Judgment, yeah. Yeah, judgment. It, it had modes like this, you know, where you gotta you know, go around and fight little enemies. And I think it was done pretty better. But I mean, it was a, it was a fun experiment, I guess. Like, I, I'm sure whoever made this game was having fun with it, you know. Take 2D sprites and make it into like an adventure kind of game. Yeah. But so, like, if you don't know how this game works, see those arrows above our head? Like, you have, that's you have to the, ma yeah. That's the that's where we're facing, and then. So this the turn one, around is a separate button. Yeah, to, like so this happens when I move back and forth. I press, you know, the back and forth button, but then I have to actually manually press uh, what is it R1, and I had to switch around. You know, in mid fight too. And, th and this is not just for this GG boost mode. There's a mode where we fight each other. Like me and him would be fighting, and I have to turn around on my own. If I don't, you know, I'm yeah. I'm screwed. It, let's okay. Let's talk about oh, going up and down. All right. Now, there's a separate jump button. Yeah, there's also a separate one. jump button. Yeah, because this is when I press up. You know, in fighting games, you press up, you jump. Well, this one, you like just do your walking forward motion, but you're like going up and down this field. You gotta. Ugh. So it's weird. So if you think about playing Guilty Gear. We're thinking about having to like overcomplicate everything. You know, that's what Azuka is. But it, had, it has a lot of good stuff to it. Like the soundtrack is oh, awesome. Oh man, dude, this soundtrack's awesome. Soundtrack's I awesome. Love this this, game this is the first soundtrack. game to have Abba, the character oh, yeah. with the key. This is the very first game to introduce her. There's another character, Leopold, in which I don't think you could ever pick. No, I got him. You got him? I got him. Really? Yeah. You just, oh. You just got like, uh, what was it? I think you got to get to level 200 on arcade mode. Really? Yeah, I played this game that long. <laughs> like, I, I really never sat down and played it that long. I really didn't care to. Yeah. But Leopold is like this, what, like a big... It's like a, ju a, a turn it turns out the, it's a gear. You're in a, it's like some guy in a gear suit with it, his pet dog. Yeah, and his dog is like there. Yeah. His dog's ever loyal. Oh, good. Here we go. Oh, you just killed the boss. Sweet. Well, I, have, I, have, I have infinite tension right now while I'm red. Oh, then fucking mash that shit. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh, oh. Problem there it goes. 
Oh, that glowing white guy is the boss. We kill him, then that's it. Yeah, let's put this guy up. But yeah, it's... Yo, I've got my combos, dude. Like, I'm fucking been playing this game. Like, this game is pretty bad, but Overture... It's just a different beast entirely. Like, I love that game, yet I hate it just as much. It's a weird relationship with Overture. Well, we'll get to Overture. Let's kill this guy. One of these days, yeah, one of these days I'll, we'll play Overture. I'm totally down for Overture, dude. <sighs> that makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> like, it has a fun concept to it, you know, RTS, but it really shouldn't have to been a Guilty Gear game, you know? Like, I really hate what they did with the story in it. Like, but, uh, yeah, again, that's, you know, that's Overture. This is... <laughs> one, one fucked up Guilty Gear game at a time. <laughs> oh, this guy's got balls. Uh, he's doing the Venom balls. Yeah. So, so these ro these bosses are like Robokais, and they have everybody's moves. Or, but you know, they have a certain set of moves. Like, so this one has Venom's moves, and I don't know what else. You know, his moves. It looks like. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That's. I think that's pretty neat, actually, of this game. The Robokais. Yeah, 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 the Robokais. Like, it was probably one of the funnest features in here. You, you unlock all the different parts, you know. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, like. Well, so pretty much what this game has oh, fuck. is uh, you can build, you can kind of build your own character in a sense. Yeah, via the Robokais, yeah. yeah. Like, if you like using Robokai, then you pretty much should build a Robokai. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess if you, if you always wanted to try, you know, Dizzy's moves, you know, like Dizzy's fish things with so bad guys, um, I don't know what so bad guy movie has. <laughs> this one? But, but yeah, you can like mix and match, you know, characters' moves with the Robokai, and it would look cool, like the animation will actually look a bit different sometimes. Like, they'll look more robotic. Or am I, or am I thinking of uh, the DS one? I don't know. Because I remember the DS one, you know, when, when it summoned the fish, right? Like, it looked like a robot fish. Like, it wouldn't just look like a normal fish. <laughs> Not that those look like normal fish. I can never land that Sick. other. It's like impossible. Mm -hmm. and, and, and right now, we're playing on the easiest difficulty, and this game is not that easy. No, it's not easy we, at all. We, we tried playing on the difficulty above, above this, you know, normal. There's like five, what? Uh, five difficulties after that? Yeah, like five different. Yeah, it just, it's not an easy game. Alright, I'm gonna show you a trick with this stage. Trick? Yeah. Don't break the barrels. Don't break the barrels. Okay. Don't break the barrels. Where's the barrel? <laughs> Don't break it. <laughs> There's like a certain enemy we gotta kill. But yeah, just pretty much don't break the barrels. Okay. Alright, get the oh, extra boss? Not yet, actually. He's like transport us or something? Yeah, it's kind of like a warp. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, I just made that up on the fly, honestly. I love that punch. He like calls it the grill buster. <laughs> the grill buster. Let's break this one. Now we can break this one, actually. Okay. Uh, score. Alright, don't break that one. Okay. That's the one we need. I think, I think I'm doing this right. I could be wrong. Could be wrong, could be wrong, but it should have been right. Oh, fuck! Oh shit! Yeah, oh. Throw, some, throw, throw some pinwheels at them. <laughs> well, I wasn't sure if my overdrive was gonna go in that direction. It, it only works on the same plane. Oh, my, my buttons are still all fucked. <laughs> oh well. Oh, oh dude, yeah. you're, you're, I, I don't need I don't need my backwards button. So there's a button in this game so you could hit behind you. You know, it'll send people flying behind you. It's, it's stupid. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. Yeah, it's 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 stupid. See, okay, now th I think this is the one, because we gotta get like an extra bonus during one of these. One, it, it wasn't the first one. It's like a separate enemy that looks really different. Really? Yeah. Like, he'll look slightly different than the rest. He'll be like a slightly different hue. Huh. And, and what do we gotta do with him? Like, knock him just, just kill him, then open the barrel. Oh. Remember him wearing like black pants? He looks like one of the chip guys. Oh. It's fucking lackeys, man. Fucking trash. Like, who who jump in this elevator with them, like, knowing they're gonna get fucking slaughtered? Aw, oh, damn it. Can you do it now, or what? Did you fuck it up? I think this might be the one. Because there's also bonus stages, too, where you fight Leo Baldin. Really? Yeah. In this mode? Yeah. Oh, well, is that the guy? I don't think so. Well, let's see. If, it, if we kill him and it says extra bonus, uh -huh. then yeah. After that, after we kill him, we gotta fucking... Oh yeah, he's got the most health. Kill him. Kill this guy. Okay. Oh wow, we stunned the lackey? Didn't know you could do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that move's absolutely useless. Hey, look at that girl. She's she's the boss. Don't kill her. Kill this guy. She's she's fine. There, okay. 
Can I run? Or should there I it is. Bonus warp. Alright, now we just gotta kill these guys. Okay, sweet. We can fight Leopold then? I, I think so. Oh, there she is. Kill the boss. Oh, you know, we gotta kill her still? Yeah. <laughs> we gotta aim at her first. Ugh, I hate that we have to manually aim. This fucking game, man. You, you know what's great about all beat em ups? What's that? Every level, every one of them has a fucking stage level. Like an elevator kind of level. Oh, yeah, elevator levels are the best. Alright, we gotta keep a chain going. Chain? A chain. Pretty much kills enemies without letting it go down. Like, we already failed there. But that's oh. okay, it just takes us to the boss after that. Okay. To Robokai. Oh, do we still gotta fight Robokai? Yeah, no, like, that's pretty much what it does. Like, it takes us, it oh, skips all okay. the other mid parts, and then we just gotta fight Robokai. Okay, so this one's gonna have different moves. Do you remember which moves this one has? He has Potemkin Buster. Fuck. Look at that. Oh, shit, he does have Potemkin moves. Well, yeah, it's, it's just Potemkin moves. You know oh, shit, he does that's Potemkin moves. Move. Yeah. <laughs> Run away! Oh shit, I didn't even see it. Yeah, that's why I said run away. <laughs> yeah, combos! I'm trying to get my ground trap out, it's like fucking impossible. It's different from way before. I mean, the command is the same, but I don't remember having to do it this... I don't remember it being this difficult to do. Ugh, whatever. Yeah! Well, not exactly full combo, but whatever. <laughs> close enough. Yeah, close enough. I like how on the ground you can switch positions and you wake up on that other side. Yeah. That's a good little feature. Have we died yet? No, we haven't died yet. Those uh, circles at the bottom of the screen next to our attention bar is our lives. We share them. Oh, yeah. Ah! This music's sick. Ah! Oh my god! Put them can bust it. Yeah, suck it, Robo guy. Nice. Got him. Look at these people in the elevator just chilling, watching. And this is Zep. <laughs> Looking almost bored. <laughs> They're like, oh, you know, sometimes you gotta fight a robot in an elevator, you know? It happens. Tibetan fox. <laughs> yeah, the Tibetan. Like an eagle raptor's Tibetan fox face. Thingy. See, I don't remember this level at all. No, there's a ninja right here. Oh, he left. Watch, if you, if you jump straight up, mm -hmm. you can see ninjas on the ceiling. Oh, shit. When I play one player mode, like, I never got past the elevator. Really? Yeah, well, mind you, I, I didn't know you could switch the difficulty either. Like, so I'd be out there playing on, like, normal mode, getting my fucking balls rocked by a fucking Robokai. Yeah, you did. Watch out for the traps, they actually hurt you. Yeah. <laughs> got her. So, yeah. <laughs> About this soundtrack. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, uh, we got there quick. Were we find a Robocop already? Yeah. Well, what happened to the level? <laughs> well, I, I guess that fucking, uh. That warp helped us. Oh. Even in here or something, I don't know. Oh shit, he just fucking. He's got chip moves! Teleports! No, oh, sick. He's like the ninja. Robo ninjas. Sick. I'm just gonna, like, stay here at the bottom because I'm afraid of the traps. Keep him away from the traps, actually. Just push him towards that way. Yeah, oh shit. He, he eddy drilled me. <laughs> Dust looping him? <laughs> no. Oh wow, I clashed with him. I didn't know this. I didn't know Zuka had clashes. Right? I remember my fish aren't like in action core where I could do multiple commands for him. Ooh. I forgot I can't gamma ray on. No, they got rid of that for this game. That falls. Alright, alright, run away, run away from him! He's he's going towards you. Oh 
fucking purple ass Robokai. Yeah, these Robokais are pretty hard to fight, actually. Yeah, they got a lot of health, actually. Probably, right. They're probably uh, scaled to deal with two players. Yeah. This, this is the easy mode, mind you. Like, yeah. Again, on the harder mode, he was, we can even get past the first one. He fucking rocked us. And then if the time runs out, you also lose. Mm-hmm. What, is it stage four already? 